Hey, it's me, Tammy B, and this is my review for Power. All right, you guys. So we are episode nine of the season, you guys. So one more left. I was so torn about the episode. It's going way left. So you're like, no. <laughs> but I don't know. I just feel it's like it's going to all come back, y'all. So let's be patient, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the episode. Let's just touch up on a few things because really that's all that matters, right? At the end of the day. Um, let's talk about, okay, so last week Ghost followed um, Tommy to Milan's warehouse. And at first Ghost was like, oh, that's messed up. He said he didn't know nothing about Milan. Now he's at his warehouse. This is my favorite part. <clears throat> was when you know ghost kind of was trying to feel Tommy out like oh where'd you go last night da, 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 da. well I didn't like the fact when ghost was like oh did you fall into some like did you meet a girl or whatever more vocal terms of course but I'm like why everybody trying to discount Holly like just make it seem like well okay I mean ghost is his friend and he know that he did so man you know how guys be like hey ain't nothing better than a new boo or whatever so maybe that's why he was saying it but i kind of thought ghost was being a little bit disrespectful like dang you know he's sad about his boo dying why would you ask him if he meeting a new boo or whatever but number one we know ghost was just covering pretending like he didn't know where he was and then number two you know whatever maybe he didn't mean it that way or whatever <clears throat> But I like the fact that Tommy was like, no, I was with Milan. So I'm glad that he didn't lie. So Ghost wouldn't trust him less. And then just to tell the truth, you know. So he did confirm like, hey, I was Milan. He showed me, showed me the warehouse, da, 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 da. So at least Ghost maybe at that point could think, oh, okay, Tommy's still on my side or whatever. So that was cool or whatever. Um, I don't really remember what happened after that let's talk about the little school part so ghost is at career day i'm like okay first on one hand you telling all the kids like oh don't tell your friends the business but then you got the daddy all coming to the career day line to the whole class or whatever and i wish he would have showed some of the parents response when he was like oh one thing about working hard is you be away from your family because i was like for the kids that sound all depressing you i would it would have been cool if at least somebody on the sideline like shook their head or something like that but whatever y'all Tyreek wasn't here for it like the rest of us wasn't clearly he was like mm, whatever and pulled out his phone to call Kane and I'm like of all people to call you couldn't text your homie like this sucks or why you gonna text Kane like you could have text Tommy you could have text Dre but I guess not because Tommy told Tyreek to basically listen to his mama and daddy and I think you know Dre said the same thing so I guess that's why he only calling Kanan who don't tell him nothing or whatever but I'm like Tyreek go sit down and why was him and his sister in the same class ain't they like two years apart but I don't know maybe career days in the library and everybody was in there but y'all y'all see Tasha in the back getting all googly eyes draws probably all dropping in the background when Ghost was like oh one thing about working hard is you know you neglect your family and you know da 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 so you know that's basically him admitting that he neglected her as a wife but I'm like girl y'all broke up and he didn't dump you and moved on to somebody else who cares if he was sad for the last 10 years <laughs> or if he was sorry for not I don't know that's how I feel but hey maybe as a mother or wife it feels good to hear that even years later but I just don't have no feelings for Ghost right now even though he's my favorite so anyway y'all that was career day so Tyreek wasn't here for it I guess he called Kanan to pick him up they go to the hood and they go to the shoe shop y'all why Tyreek steal some shoes Tyreek need to go to jail oh you want to hear some advice from Kanan how about Kanan tell you about what happened in jail because you hearing all about the street but you didn't hear what ha where he been the last few years how about you hear about that how about you hear about him being all burnt up dead to the bed well I guess he can't hear about that because his daddy did it but <clears throat> i hate when the people when the og homies tell the young kids all the good stuff about being a game banger but don't tell them the bad stuff like no you need to tell them about being in jail or whatever and you know what that was kind of smart of tyreek i don't know if you could pull i don't know oh they in new york i don't know last time i tried on some shoes in the mall i did get a try on both pairs without a sensor on but for the most part, for regular stores, I usually remember it being a sensor on the sh on the uh, one of the shoes or something, right? But hey, he said this was an old place, so maybe they wasn't hip, you know, whatever. But Tyreek still the shoes, and I'm like Tyreek. Kanan said this is how you get street cred. You don't need no street cred. You don't know no real homies in the hood besides Kanan. So why you need to appear now? But whatever. We all know Tyreek going through withdrawal. <laughs> 
but uh so that was that so what else helped happen y'all um you know ghost is trying to work with lobos to help take down milan because tommy won't help or whatever so ghost come up with this plan for you know lobos to wear a wire at the meeting with milan lobos does wear the wire but lo and behold after the little parent conference thing i guess ghost went on home and there go tasha in her role freaking wine that was a bomb roll though um um, there go Tasha all drinking wine and whatnot. So they talk and tee hee hee or whatever, whatever, whatever. And I knew it. Soon as uh things got a little hectic, I will say at least Tasha was about to get up like, nah, let me go do something for the kids. But Ghost and one his doctor was like, no. And they kids. Soon as she took that breath, I knew she was gonna give in. And on one hand, I didn't want her to give in just because I'm like, man, you played me the way left. Like I'm not about to give you the goodies now. But on one hand. I don't know. I just sometimes it is better to have sex with your ex boo than find a new boo. You see what happened when she found the last new boo, <laughs> even though she didn't find uh ooh, what's cutting Kane's son name? She didn't technically find him. He was already around, but I guess she like, dang, <laughs> my husband leave me, my side boo died. I might as well just go back to my ex boo. So I guess I can see because we don't want her to be a hoe, you know. So I guess it's better to get it from ghosts. But that sex scene was so whack. I was so disappointed. I don't know why I wanted to hear them to have some just bomb like like the sex on belly or hey she could have even pulled out her little kim moves when she played little kim and she was having sex with biggie that was like a bomb sex scene. <laughs> so i was like where is the uh, little kim moves like because they faces why was they making those weird faces it was like it's good but it's not good or is it like i don't know it was just like a real hard grinding it out <laughs> face and i was like okay maybe she is kind of tense like oh you dumped me and i'm really mad at you but hey i need to have sex so boom here it go and maybe he was like oh sexually frustrated just in general he ain't got no boo and maybe that was just a sexually frustrated phase but i kind of felt that they were saying stuff to each other like you know i hate you but okay or i'm still or he maybe was saying oh i'm sorry but okay you know i don't know but the faces were weird weird but i was like dang it i wanted to uh have them have a better sex scene so i could be like see go just get back with your wife you see the sex was better <laughs> but that didn't happen at least in my head or from what i saw but whatever let's move on uh tommy kills lobos long story short y'all dre came to help to clean up the murder y'all dre so thirsty he jumped out of the car ready like yeah yeah where the body at <laughs> like that's how i look he was so ready to be dead oh ghosts don't know about this okay i ain't gonna tell him like <laughs> he almost had his little ray j going on <laughs> so whatever y'all lobos is dead and you know tommy go back and confront ghosts like yeah uh, Milan saw you following me last week. I told you to fall back from doing that and you didn't. Now you're trying to send Lobos to mess up the game after I told you uh, Milan was going to kill me if he caught you doing some more stuff. So whose side are you on, Ghost? Like, you want him to kill me or not? So I'm glad Tommy banged on Ghost. But what I was mad about, why Ghost didn't say nothing about the wire? He knew about the wire, right? So now, okay, now, what if they find him in the wire? So I guess that's what's going to happen. That's what we're going to find out next week. Are they going to find the body with the wire on it? Are they going to listen to it? Da, 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 da. So unless the police who gave him the wire, which was Greg, find him, then maybe whoever else find him won't know the search because you can't scan it. So you would have to specifically be looking for it to find it. So maybe, you know, maybe they won't find it. I was like, why didn't Ghost say anything? Do he know Tommy killed so well that he probably wouldn't find it? Or did he just not? He already know Tommy mad at him. So maybe he was like, I ain't going to tell him nothing else. I don't know. But I don't know why Ghost didn't tell Tommy, like, okay, now that you killed him, like, where he at? Because he was wearing a wire. Like, <laughs> that's what I think should have happened. But whatever. You know, Ghost. Or whatever. So, <laughs> I don't know, y'all. What else do I remember? That's mainly what I remember. So, we'll see, y'all. Um, oh, at the end, Tommy was like, Ghost was telling Tommy, like, look, 
I didn't tell you about the plan because I knew you didn't want to kill Milan. You seem so down. I know he's, you know, taking you under his wing, but it would be better if you were the leader, Tommy. If you the leader of the drug game, I could get out like I've been wanting to do, and you could run the streets in your own way. So let's kill Milan and let him be out of the way or whatever. So at first, Tommy was like, nah, I'm not with it. But then when he got close to the door, he was like, nah, I called the shots. So that's why the episode is I called the shots because Tommy said he wanted to call the shots or whatever. And I'm not too, I know Tommy is crazy and can be a hothead, but hey, right now, he the one who most in the mix. So I'm not too mad at Tommy calling the shots. So boom, we think Tommy is down to help Ghost. But then Tommy goes to Milan and was like, oh, remember when you said let me uh, watch Ghost for you? Well, I watched him and he tripping. Uh, we need to kill Ghost. So I don't know, y'all. Is Tommy fronting with Milan just to make Milan like like Tommy more? Cause Milan loved Tommy, y'all. He down. Uh, Milan homies was like, oh, why you bringing the white boy into all of our business? And you know, even Milan was like, no, Tommy is like family now. Like he down with the get down or whatever. He on our team. So Milan is pumping for Tommy. So maybe Tommy's smart enough to be trying to win Milan's trust on all levels. Or maybe Tommy is tired of goals. Like, dang, I told you. You left me high and dry and I picked Holly over you. I told you last week when you got followed, Milan was watching it. It was life or death for me and you still did it. So, hey, F you and your couch, you know? That's what, maybe that's what Tommy is thinking. But I don't know, y'all. Maybe just because I'm so down with the dynamic duo of Tommy and Ghost that I low-key think that my hope, my desire is that Tommy is playing Milan and he really is going to be down with Ghost. That's what I think. So that was it. I can't really think of nothing with Angela. I think she had sex with Greg again. And, you know, Greg went to her phone or went to her purse. First of all, Angela, you know you got that dirty phone on you. Why you just leave it out like that? And why you leave your purse out? I don't care. All of my booze, even my husband, up until he bought us a house that we moved in together every time he came to my house, I had my purse. <laughs> Okay, I got trust issues. <laughs> but shh, I be hiding my purse from booze or on dates. So why you didn't hide your purse, girl? You know you ain't. You ain't been back to the Bronx in a minute. Um, But yeah, so Greg stole the SIM card or stole the phone or stole the picture of the SIM card. So now Greg know that the burner phone belonged to somebody in the office. And then he followed the people and he saw Mike all coming out of uh, Hugo's house. Hugo is the guy who helped Lobos escape and who was working with Mike or whatever. So we all know Hugo dead and I guess Mike went to his house to kind of make sure it was no traces of him. And he did find a picture of him and his daughter because remember uh, Lobos or whatever. Wait, I've been saying Lobos this whole time, huh? I forgot um, the guy of the name. The name. Who, what's the name of the guy that Tommy killed? Oh my gosh, I think I've been saying that wrong name this whole time, but y'all know who I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> or whatever. So, um, yeah, so at least Mike got his little picture out, so maybe he's in the clear or whatever. Oh, that scene earlier when Angela was in the office tooling around with the burner phone, she went ahead and texted, and then the phone, and then Mike got the text, of course, so he called the number, and Angela just picked up and listened. So they both at the office in their respective offices, and then they hear a, hear a helicopter fly by. So now both of them know, Angela and Mike know, like, oh my gosh, somebody who works in this office has this phone. So the question is just who has it, you guys? So we gonna see oh my gosh i'm so upset i feel like i wish i could rewind and see if i was saying the wrong name of the guy who uh tommy killed or whatever but yeah we know he did but that was it that's all i could think of as far as <clears throat> whatever happened with angela oh y'all and keisha missing y'all keisha where you at girl you better call us you know we don't want you to die girl where your son at um but we know tommy went to the shop we know Tommy went to shop last week, so we thinking Keisha dead, y'all, but Tommy know Keisha the homie, so maybe Tommy, uh, oh, remember when Ghost sent, uh, Holly all packing with a fake ID? Hopefully Tommy sent Keisha packing with a fake ID with her son and that $500 and a bag it came in. <laughs> so hopefully Keisha ain't dead, y'all. Keisha don't be dead, girl. But that's it, y'all. 
Kanan, he look like he uh, still on lean. Cause why is he slurring? And that is that on purpose or is that his regular gangster lean uh, getting shot slur or whatever? And I don't know why it just gives me pedophile tease that he is hanging around a little boy. Like I know he not a pedophile. Well, that is. I mean, I don't know. I it's just I don't know. It's eerie to me. And I know it's eerie because he a killer, but it gives me more than just I'm getting back at ghost tees. It just gives me rapist tees a little bit. <laughs> so hopefully that'll happen to Tyree. Tyree just need to go to jail and get out the way. And y'all Raina love her little daddy, y'all. She was all smiling and raising her hand at the little career day so her daddy can answer her questions. I was like, oh, ain't nothing uh, like a father and daughter love. It'd be so cute sometimes. But anyway, y'all, I digress, you guys. That was Power Season 3, Episode 9, titled I Call the Shots. It was pretty good, but it just makes you mad because you thinking like, oh, we about to wrap up. They about to tie off loose ends. They tie off. But this episode, it added more loose ends. Like, um, the dead guy, you know... And now just all this stuff is open. Tommy, whose side is he really on? So maybe next week is going to be real epic. Maybe it's going to leave like a major cliffhanger, which was good because last season cliffhanger was really good. So maybe that's what they're going to do. But I don't know. I just like when stuff in in total and full and everything has a story or a completion. But hey, it wouldn't be... It wouldn't keep going if we knew everything that happened, right? Oh, y'all. So, you know, the two, the club owners across the street. So, um, Ghost and all the little Milan gangbangers or drug dealers been selling drugs in all the local clubs, including the one across the street. So, Cantos, y'all. Cantos is back. And Cantos working at the with the guys from across the street. So I thought it was funny when Cantos came to Ghost's house and was like, hey, or Ghost's office was like, hey, um, I need that list from Stern. <laughs> Shout out to Mike B. Oh my goodness, soon as they said Stern, I was like, oh my God, Stern, somebody mentioned Stern. <laughs> Every time you mention Stern, like, I be, I be rolling. So I was like, oh my God, they mentioned uh, Stern. So uh, Cantos was like, yeah, um, I need Stern's list. And Ghost was like, why would I do that? And Cantos was like, hey, I work for the guys across the street. I could have told him a gang of stuff about you, but I didn't. So in exchange, give me my list back. And then he was like, we'll get it together. I'm like, why you got to get together? Why don't you just give it back? What do you got to put together? But hey, I guess it was on a flash drive. Who knows? But I don't know. But I thought that was a good move on Cantos. I don't like Cantos, but I would have to agree, like, you fired me. I ain't got no job. Like he said, hey, they called and asked me for a job. I didn't have nothing to do. <laughs> so I said, yeah. So I, hey, if I didn't have no job and a competitor called me, I might take it too if I needed the job or whatever. So I don't know, y'all. I don't know what this means that Cantos is working for them. But I, somehow, somewhere, even though I don't like Cantos, I hope Cantos come back to go side. So anyway, what I was going to say was... You know, the, the guys from across the street, they also stole Karen Bassett. Now they didn't semi-stole uh, Cantos. So, while Karen Bassett is over there finalizing a deal, Ghost walk in, you know, just making it seem like he just saying hi. And boom, when he come in, the police bust the place up, find drugs, and take the two club owners uh, to jail. So, he give Can uh, Karen Bassett his car, Ghost, and like, hey, now we could get back to doing business. Like, you and your daddy come by on Thursday or whatever. So, I guess... Uh, Ghost gonna get the deal back so I'm happy for that but if I was Ghost I wouldn't have went there when the drug bus was going on I don't know maybe he feel like hey if it was me I wouldn't be there you think I would be there maybe that's his alibi like you would think I would be there if I knew the cops was coming but I don't know I just personally wouldn't have been there cause then they really have no way to me it do look suspicious like dude five minutes before you walked in or after you walk in the police come so hey we'll see you guys so to me that's another enemy that Ghost made Ghost you supposed to be trying to calm down your enemies as you exit the game bruh but hey whatever so that was it you guys that was power I can't wait for the finale I hope it's so well we already know it's gonna be good but so we'll see alright you guys you know what's up give me the thumbs up on this video go ahead and check me out on twitter at Tammy B underscore alright